Michael uses intimate orchestration to take us on that journey with Jojo. He's just got a really amazing sense of creating emotion using music. It'd be better with colour. That's where my job lies, tracking my empathy for what is happening and putting it into the piano, <laughs> and then into the orchestra, and then into your ears. <laughs> In this film, the most important thing was keeping it intimate, almost seen through the eyes of a child. In the beginning of the movie, Jojo's point of view is this. It's a very narrow point of view. And as the film goes on, it slowly widens to this. And I tried to do the same thing with the music. So the first time you hear Jojo's theme is very simple, and children sing this Nazi fascist march. And then have them sing that same thing in a different way at the end when he's in the battle and he's looking at everything around him falling apart. The music is as big as it has ever been in the film. Is it dangerous out there? Extremely.